hi guys how are you going i don't know what my hands are doing i'm excited i think because i just ate i'm like happy and like full of energy um i'm here today on my big yellow chair with my livid print that you can't see but let's pretend it's there um i'm just making sure i'm in focus yes it is sunday here in australia so i think i'm just sort of like getting out all my excitement before i go back to work and live a real life um but you know that's all right it's another day so what we are doing today, we're doing another bird makeup, but this one's going to be a lot darker. I'm just getting my phone up so I can show you guys. Today, we're going to be doing the Dusky Lorikeet. Mm. Uh, you know, as I do, I put a photo in the thumbnail at all times, and you guys can also just Google up what a Dusky Lorikeet is. Most people should know. If not, you will know it's distant friend, the uh, Rainbow Lorikeet. There are hundreds and thousands and thousands and thousands of those here in Australia. Um, so I'm not sure about you Americans or anything like that, but um, beautiful birds, loud, they like to squeal, or not. But um, what we're going to be focusing on today is obviously lots of red, lots of black, lots of orange. Now I have tried black in a look before, and to be honest it wasn't that good. Black is such an overpowering colour, and if you add just too much it can take over. So I'm sort of challenging myself today, um, just to make it look half decent, but you know another story we'll see how that goes so what I've already done is I've done my primer I'm trying to but I think my issue is is my issue is with makeup is that I use too much at one time hello focus where are you mm, thank you so I use too much at one time which can make it sort of look a little bit cakey and whatnot maybe not so much on the camera but when you walk away from the camera and sort of um even trying to take a photo of it or something like that, like it just comes off bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm trying to minimal, minimalize whatever, what I'm trying to do. So without me blabbering for any longer, because I already am, let's get started. Okay guys, as I said before, I have done my primer. Um, what I'm going to do today is go back to my um, Dewy foundation, my Fit Me foundation. I am shade 115. I usually use the matte and polish, but I'm not that impressed with how it sort of comes out. I feel like it's it's a darker than my normal skin, even though it's the same one. And I don't know, I'm just, just not as happy with it. So I'm going to give my uh, Jimmy and Smooth a, um, another go. So we're going to start with that little baby blender. We're going to go in around the eyes, and then we can go in and do our colours and hopefully not fuck it up. liking this better than my last one. Although I do think it's a little bit pale. Um, I have been going in the sun. It is winter here in Australia, but even in winter, the sun is shining all year round. <laughs> so it may be just a little bit white, but that's okay. We can always fix that later with um, powders and bronzes and stuff. So you guys know the palette I'm going to crack into because it's my favorite. It is the Festival palette. It was so cheap, it was only from Kmart, and it's great for all the bird looks that we're doing together because obviously it covers basically all the colours that birds are. So we're really going to be hitting on these reds here. This red, and then this red here, and then the oranges. I don't know if you could even hear me because I was speaking behind a plastic tray. Um, and then we're going to use one of my other palettes to get the black from because it's not on this one. So we'll get started right now.
As you guys see, I used a really dark grey instead of a black. And even then, it's just such a dark colour that it can be quite risky. I'm happy with how this looks. I think I'm going to put a bit more orange into the centre, just to sort of bring it, because at the moment it's just really red and black. The orange sort of got taken over. So I'm going to dip more orange into the centre. But I'm happy that the, the black grey colour isn't too crazy. What I'm going to do up here, though, is I'm sort of looking at the picture I have, there's a little bit of like a brownie orange all across the back of the neck when it comes to this dusky lorikeet. So that's where I'm going to put most of this colour. I do not want to add any more sort of black to this look. I don't think it needs it. Um, in saying that the only really part that's black for the lorikeet apart from the body is sort of around the nose. Like the beak, sorry. I know better. <laughs> so I think that is enough sort of, of a dark colour to it definitely draws attention i'm looking at myself and you know you definitely see but i definitely think that orange needs to come in a little heavier then i'm going to hit with a bit of brown a bit of like a yellowy orange on the outside i think this could look really good that's much better i am much happier with this now that the orange my nose is really bent don't worry. You don't worry about those sort of things because you cannot change them where you can, but I never like that much money. So, um, I hate to look away from the camera and look into the side bit, but it's the best way for me to look at what I've actually done. So I think that the orange is great. I'm loving having this orange here and you know, it's just bringing a bit more attention to it and just making it more of a um, prominent colour instead of just being black. So, now we're going to be moving into the sort of the brown, which is going to go up here and maybe like a lighter yellowy orange as well. So keep on watching. Now, if you're wondering why I did really red eyebrows, I can only drop one side. Eh. Um, if you look at a picture of a dusky lorikeet, or at least the one that I'm looking at, um, they have a really thick red band around their neck of just you know red feathers and whatnot. So I think having big red, a lot of red up here, is going to be my version of the the neck feather look. Obviously, I'm not going to put red all around my neck. It won't look very good. Um, so I'm really happy with how this is looking. Obviously, we've got bits of brown, we've got bits of orange, um, the big orange and the black. I thought about adding a little more black to the eye at the top, but if I do, I'm just going to wreck it. I know. I just can't handle dark colours like that. I just can't do it. So we're going to. I am happy with this. It shows all the colours that the lorikeet has, um, with all the big reds and the oranges and then the dark. So. I do. I'm very happy with it. But now we have a whole face to do. So I'm going to do the um, same foundation I did for the eyes. I'm going to dab that on now. Um, I'm going to go try and go light again. I'm trying to look this new me, <laughs> new look me. Um, so we'll get that done and then we can do the rest of the face. Okay, we're going to take our really big beauty blender now and put the same um, dewy foundation on before. Obviously 115. Um, and do the whole face now. So I'll speed through that really quickly and then we can get on with the rest.
Okay guys, so I did. I added way less foundation than I normally would. And I think it looks fine. I think I go too over the top with my foundation. Um, I did have to add a little bit more one side because I think I just rejected it altogether. But um, altogether, I'm not too mad. And then once you add concealer and powders and stuff like that, it sort of covers everything anyway. Um, speaking of concealer, where is my... There it is. I'm going to add some concealer. And I also do this too heavy. So I'm only going to do a little bit. Like a weeny bit. Particularly because I don't have a lot of foundation on for it to stick to. Um, I... There goes my mirror. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've got my concealer on, so I'm gonna stick that on really quick and we can do the powders. Okay guys, all bumped in. I think it looks good considering, you know, I'm, this is very new for me to add, you know, not heaps of stuff. I am very heavy handed with my makeup, so Trying to just cool it down, settle down, and you know, just be relaxed with it all. So now we're gonna go in with our powders, just, just a plain translucent powder that I use, and then I use um, Thin Lizzy Bronzer. I don't know why, I just always have since we started these videos, so we're just gonna do that now. Now you guys know I'm gonna go in with highlighter because I have a problem. They need like highlighters anonymous for people like me. But you can see with the thin Lizzie, try and take away from some double chin and then across the top. Um, so we're gonna go with a bit of gold highlighter I think because it's Sunday and we deserve the best. And now we'll have a sharp in this light. Hmm. I'm not using natural light because it's. Five o'clock in the afternoon in winter, and in winter that means um, the sun goes down at like six here, sort of. Um, ooh, all up on the head because I've got problems. I like that. I'm just finding other areas to stick it on now, even though I don't need to. I love that. That's fucking stunning. Put it down. <laughs> I did just realise that we did not do any mascara on these eyes, so I'm going to quickly pop that on now. I use my uh, Revlon Ultra uh, Revlon Ultra Volume, the really funny looking shaped one with the pink top. Um, they do come in different colours. I don't know. It's just my favourite. I just you know it was there. I think it was because it was such an odd shape that I just liked it. I don't know. Um, my friend pointed it out to me. So, good dog to them. So I'm going to do this one, and then we're going to do a lip. I think it's going to have to be a red lip. Um, you know, we've got a lot of red going on. The bird that we are doing has a lot of red going on. I think it just, it just has to. Can we all just ignore what? Boop. Wait, here we go. Oh, what is this eyebrow doing? For some reason my thing stopped recording. Um, yeah, let's all just ignore that little bit of, like, mascara on there. Or pretend that didn't happen. I don't know what this eye, uh, eyebrow is doing here. It's just sort of sticking out, but that's okay. So now we've got a highlighter on. Look at that forehead highlighter. I've got problems. <laughs> I really do. I'm actually, I was a little bit mm, about this look when we first started and then when the colours sort of going, but now that I've got like the face on and that bit of highlighter, like I'm really loving it. So, 
we're gonna go with a lipstick. I think it's gonna be, I was thinking this red here, dark red, but I think it's gonna have to be really light bright red to go with all the excitement. I think we'll use this one, it's called Fatal Red. I don't wanna use too much though, because obviously red is very heavy. It's this sort of, a bit more of a darker, mature room. I think it'll look nice. So I'll pop that on and then we can finish the look. I worry that this lip is too red, but at the same time I'm gonna like it. It makes my teeth look yellow. So I will ignore that. So this is the final look. I would use a finishing spray, but I do not want this to set because I wouldn't go for a shower. So usually I would, but when you put a finishing spray on things, it's really hard to get them off. So we don't need that. And you know, I just can imagine like half set half running red everywhere mm, thank you so i hope you guys enjoyed the video um if you want to request any sort of bird make sure leave a comment below you know do the usuals to subscribe and whatnot like that um yeah i hope you enjoyed i look forward to our next bird video and be conjuring up thoughts on which bird we're going to be doing but yeah of course if you have any suggestions let me know you have a good sunday or saturday monday whatever day it is for you and we will talk soon. Bye.